guys, welcome to another OpenTunes tutorial. Today we're going to look at importing image sequences into OpenTunes, like um, an animation that you rendered into a series of images, and how to render with OpenTunes. And uh, for this example, I'm going to make a new level. So imagine that we have this blue sky background in OpenTunes, and uh, we want to import an animation we made in another program of like a butterfly flying through this blue sky. So what we're going to do is go to the other program that we worked in and this is the butterfly animation that we had finished and uh, to prepare this for use in OpenTunes you're going to want to um, hide this paper layer. You want the background to be transparent which means this gray and white checkerboard background and uh, then we want to change the canvas size so that it's just the butterfly flapping and to do this we can right click the animation press create selection and this will select everywhere that the animation touches and then we go to the edit tab change canvas size and it'll give us a canvas just the right size for this butterfly not cutting any of it off so this is also how you would make a GIF file and uh, Clip Studio Paint can render as a GIF but today we're just going to render as image sequence so we go to the file tab export animation as image sequence we have the folder that we're saving this to which is import and I'm going to call this animation butterfly now this is what you want to double check export range settings which is how many frames we have selected and uh, this animation is 14 frames long the box says 14 frames so we're good press OK and then go to the folder and you will find um, the, all these images ready for you to work with so uh, one way to put an image sequence into OpenTunes is to just select all drag and drop but this puts each frame in a different column and that is not what we want. I mean you could go and rearrange it all by hand like this just dragging them underneath each other but imagine that we're working with an animation that's a hundred frames or more which is very common and that would take forever and really is not a good idea so how do you import an image sequence into OpenTunes more easily? So what we're going to do is go to the browser window and find our animation in the computer. Alright, now that I'm in the folder with the uh, files, I see all of the frames here and what I'm going to do is right click on one of them and click on rename in this drop down window and this is important because OpenTunes has a specific kind of file that they recognize so uh, apparently this format is not good enough for them this number format right here so what we're going to do when we rename it is make sure that OpenTunes understands that all of these image files go together to create an animation so let's click on rename and by the way sometimes this makes OpenTunes crash so you might want to save your work before renaming great now we have this thing called butterfly and you can see in the frames tab it says it has 14 frames and that means that it understands that these image files go together to one animation so we can drag it into this box down here which is our levels and I'm gonna import it to this project and now when we go back to the main window we will see an animation I'm going to extend this sky background for three seconds for an animation length of three seconds. Then I'm going to just select all these frames, copy paste until I get to the bottom because I animated this so that it is a cycle animation. That means it can loop very well.
And now we have this looping butterfly animation. And when you import um, files like this, you can easily scale and position the entire animation. So let's go to each second. Now we have a butterfly that is flapping around the screen and it's all done. So that is how to import image files. Now we're going to look at how to render your image files. And uh, usually I just render them as .tiff or TIFF file because uh, that's just OpenTunes' default and it seems to like to work with those files more. So we will go to the file tab and click render. Hopefully it doesn't crash. It sometimes crashes when I do this. Please don't crash. Open tunes. Oh, it crashed. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, reopening the file and trying to render it again. Um, we'll go and click on this folder here. And this will give us another place where we can uh, browse the computer and choose where to save our file. I'm going to save it right back in the import folder where the original animation came from. And you gotta give a name down here. I'm gonna call it Butterfly again and press save. And this will save it as an image sequence. We can see it appearing here. Okay, it's done. And once you have rendered as image sequence from OpenTunes, it's really, really easy to uh, re to just put that back into OpenTunes because it's already in the proper format. So we can import it again, and we have this butterfly.tiff, which is 73 frames, the full length of our animation. And if we wanted to put it back into this project or into another project, all we would have to do is drag this one file into the level window and then it would appear here. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope this video was useful to you guys and uh, please tell me what you thought of it and make requests for more tutorials. Um, check out some of the other videos on my channel. I have some more OpenTunes tutorial videos that might be helpful and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye!